by Strictly Street Rods. He got wiped out in the four-way <laughs> I'm Larry with Rides Done Ride. I'm at the Northwest Ronorama, and my guest is Sean Patrick. Sean, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, bud. So, walking around the show, saw this beautiful Impala over there. Now, I've seen him before. I love the I love this in that red color. And uh, uh, why don't you tell me about how you came about getting the car and a little history before we really get into the details of the car? Well, um, from his dad bought it, probably two years after '60. Drove it, pretty much drove the family around in it, and then it just got parked. Uh, the dad passed away about 13 years ago, and with the son wanting to tribute to his dad to rebuild it, built something that really stood out. And to pick Ferrari red, I mean, you kind of it stands out with Ferrari red. You just, you just stand out there. The good thing with that color is it makes all the chrome pop, everything else kind of just enhances with that color, and that's what really looks. Was it a factory red car? Or was it? No, it was actually like a, I think it was, like, it was more like factory, like the bronze of those came back in those days. Yeah, real common. That yep. was a common color. So, and then the interior then was that probably that same tannish kind of. Same tannish with there. the it had the hound's tooth, but you know white. But this one with that red, the, the factory hound's tooth in it, just really sets it interior off. Where it still looks stock, but it's clean. Mm -hmm. Well, the stance on the car obviously looks great. It's slammed down with wheels and tires. How far along was that? was the car when it came to you and then your, your role in this is you're you're the builder painter you're the guy who put it together yes and i pretty it. much did the marriage what they call it if you go to any factory it's called a marriage so when the frame and motor is all done the body comes down they call it a marriage mm -hmm. that's what it came to me as a already powder coated frame a rolling chassis uh and then i did you know the body work and paint and got it you know painted the door jams lined all the sheet metal painted the outside it's got nine coats of clear coat on it the customer wanted that deep red look so it was a lot of you know, 19 foot car, a lot of wet sand and, and respraying, wet sand and respray. So <laughs> it turned out great. I mean, the paint's deep on it. Yes. It's just great color on that car. What uh, What did you guys do for chrome? Because obviously, you know, with it being an older car like that, the chrome had to have been pitted and needed things. Art Brass in Seattle chromed the bumpers, polished all the stainless, did all that. Uh, one thing he had to have done though is the two spears on the side of the fenders, he had to have custom made in California. And it was a pretty penny because they don't reproduce them. The ones he had had dings in it, and so he what he did is he sent one down to California, and this guy built a mold and built those things. So now they can be reproduced for the 60 Impalas, so that people now can buy these nicely new oh, done man. spears. That's cool. Yeah. One so. of the things I noticed is that you, you kind of got the like I don't know what they're like signal things that are on the front of the fenders and then the antennas all yep. they all line yep. up. Yeah. So right. so the, the, it came factor with the two little arrows on the in, on the fenders. So then we decided to go with dual antennas and dual mirrors just to make the car look finished all the way from side to side and you don't see dual mirrors on those cars usually no. it's a single factories side driver side only because honestly to put the mirror in the spot that would make it usable would it's almost puts it farther back than the dry ones and then they look kind of goofy so we just kind of make a match it's not a usable mirror but it just looks finished mm -hmm. that so. looks great i mean it looks like the car came that way what kind of uh, other options and things did you guys wind up doing to the car? Or did, the, did the owner? Well, there, it was well, like in the engine compartment, with the factory numbers matching 348. He had built by Randy's trans, uh, Johnson machine out in Tumwater, 505 horsepower, 500 pounds of torque. Um, if you really look close, if you look on the back firewall, there's a coil back there, but it's an octagon-shaped coil that you don't see very much. I had to hand build the holder to put that in because they don't make them. So it's either you just screw it to the wall, but I built that, which was kind of cool. So it makes it different. And then, uh, and then building, you know, he wanted vintage air. Everybody wants AC in their old plastic cars like that. So vintage air sends you these really black plastic things to mount to the bottom of your dashboard. But I was like, no, I'm not having that. So everything is all hand built with a 1960 Impala steering wheel emblem in the center since he went with an aftermarket steering wheel. So that way, and all his air ride systems to the left. So it's all mounted. So you can just push buttons, not worry about anything. And, um, just little things like that adds a touch to the car that makes it a little crisper and cleaner than the, just a normal 60. Oh, that's cool. Uh, you were saying something about the windows and how they... How the windows they... has... The New Relic company has come out with an electric window kit that is a factory bolt-in window kit. It's the best I have ever used, hands down. 
I had to do a little modifications to the door for the switch. Besides that, you get to keep your factory window crank look, not having all these switches. So it looks like still original hand roll up, but you just pull the switch up, window goes up, pull the switch down, window goes down. So the biggest thing is I tell people, if you put them in there, just tell your kids, don't go act like you're going to crank the window up. You'll break that switch, and they're not cheap. So, <laughs> uh, and that would, that's funny that you'd say that, because that would be the first thing I'd do. I'd get in and see the old hand. Want and to roll know, the window down. remember, in the old days, too, you'd grab onto them. you like got the reef mm -hmm. on them. So. so, yeah, it's nice, easy. It's little, you'll hear it go click, zzz, click, click, down. You may, you so. may see that come back for a switch someday. <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah. So that's. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. That, and uh Start to finish on the car. How long did it take you from the time you got it to be able to complete it? Uh, I had he. I had a nine-month deadline. Nine wow. months. I had it. Because it, it being that the chassis was already done, I had nine months to do all the body work, get it paint, get it wet sand above. And I just want to let, uh, let people know that that is actually Exalta water-based paint on that car. So a lot of hot rodders aren't using it. They're still using solvent. I'm actually one of the first to actually shoot water-based paint on hot rods, and which gives it that really clean, crisp look. Oh, that's great. How long have you been showing this car then? This this is the second show. I just I just got done with this car, like I said, about three months ago, working all the bugs out of it, test driving it, you know. Re, I mean, anytime you do a big build like that, you got to go and retorque bolts and them, you know, things work loose. So you got to really check that out and really just cruise around. Um, my son got to use it for his senior pictures for high school, which was wow. awesome. I mean, it made his day. Yeah. So, Wow, that's cool. So is this a car then that we're going to see in, in other shows? I mean, if you're that that fresh on the on the build it's, it's I, I want to it's up to the owner um he has given me the uh, a set of keys to it to where i can take it to anywhere i want i just, i would like to do portland roaster show i've never done it back when i had my own car so to display a, a customer's car that was probably the biggest build i've done as my own boss would be nice to go show it off to people and go hey this is the kind of work my my guys at my shop can do um and and you know you just don't see 60 and Pauls around. You yeah. don't see them. You, you know, looks great. and people are just loving that car this weekend. I'm really enjoying it. Well, you did a great job, Sean. And thanks so much for seeing us. You're today. welcome. And we'll see you guys next time. Right.